We are back. Uh, Chris Patterson with us uh, once again, the city of Alexandria's new uh, recreation director. This guy has been busy since uh, he's hit the ground running, so to speak, here yes. in Alexandria. And yes. getting acclimated to the weather. Yes. <laughs> yes. A lot of sunscreen. Try, lot of sunscreen. Trying to. <laughs> okay, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the Rec to You is hitting all these neighborhood parks. What's happening? A lot's happening. Um, basically, we're getting out there in the morning. We're set up by about 9.30. We start at 10.30. Mm -hmm. We turn on the music. That starts to attract people. Yeah, it gets people We've been noticing. getting people. Well, we're supposed to start at 10.30. People start showing up at 10. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not like a store where you open your doors. Mm -hmm. You keep going. The hardest part is shutting down at 1. I mm. bet. That they're like, do not don't leave. go. No, don't they want to leave. So. Look at the smiles. Oh, it's great. I, I haven't had a chance to see some. I'm, that one I saw. <laughs> yeah. um, that's what makes your day because you... You get out there and you can talk all you want, you can plan it all you want, you can put it on paper, we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. But when you get up there and you see all that stuff. It's but as recreation that director, is, it's like yeah. you holding these little mini meetings um, to f get input from these parents, what they want for yeah. their communities, for their children. Yeah, and what's, what's neat about it is, is it's accessibility. Because you have people that have never really worked with recreation, mm -hmm. accessibility, um, walking, taking the bus, whatever. It's very hard to get to rec centers mm -hmm. for, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. right. But we're at the park. Those are the people I go and ask, what would you like? Mm -hmm. We'd like more of this because now I get to go with my kid and interact. Mm -hmm. And see, when you go to a rec center, usually kids get dropped off. Mm -hmm. Right. But right. here they're interacting and they're meeting with people. And you come to find out it's kind of a reunion. I put it, they put it in the paper. It said uh, neighborhood reunion. Uh -huh. It is. Yeah. There's people coming back for the summer visiting. They haven't been there in years, mm -hmm. and it feels good for them to come back and see that the city's doing something. Right. Um, this has been a big hit so far. It has been, and in a scale of one to ten, it's probably at a two or three, and that's not anything bad. It's mm -hmm. just there's a lot more organizations that want to come out and be on site. The food bank came out. Um, they've been a real big help. Uh, one of the local radio stations, the two guys come out. Every one, they've come out. And I don't think they're on the clock. I think they're mm -hmm. just coming out and they're to actually get back to the community. Yeah. yeah. So it's a movement, and like mm -hmm. any movement, you start out and you grow. You don't just start out at full fledged. This is where we're going to be at. What was the food bank doing there? Actually, uh, we'd be getting snacks in the morning. Mm -hmm. Our guys go pick them up. Mm -hmm. um, the food bank's just kind of doing some PR to the neighborhood. Good. Yeah. I guess a SNAP program you can register on site. Um, that was neat to see because mm -hmm. uh, some people can't get to the places to register and they don't even know where to do it sometimes right. so they're there literally with wireless to be able to register them uh, anybody in the neighborhood okay look for you where tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna be at Franco Hunter and it is gonna be a good test these were dry runs the first three mm -hmm. uh, we had a hundred at one park 130 and yesterday we had about 106 that's like you're there. getting it out of the ballpark to me yeah. it is but this is gonna be the test this was high school baseball and I'm going to the major leagues <laughs> Thursday so or minor like, leagues to the big leagues yeah, even yeah. even I don't think there's more despair but it's gonna be so fun. that tells me you're hoping you're expecting how many oh don't quote me. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Don't hold, we'll hold, won't hold you to it. This is at least 200 people, I think. But I yeah. think I have more volunteers uh, You're wanting have a little to help. More out. help. Okay. Yeah, because in that area there, they've kind of ha they've had a chance to have the schedule. Yeah. Some of the local churches want to come out and help. Mm -hmm. So going to Cheatham Park tomorrow. No, excuse me, no. uh, Franco Going Hunter. to Franco, Franco Hunter, Hunter, Hunter tomorrow. Yes. And, then, and then the other parks are listed on the city's website. Yes, they're listed, and um, it, we're putting signs up at the parks when we're going to be here next Tuesday. Okay. We're going to be here next Thursday. Yeah. And again, I'm not trying to get everybody from the city coming to these small parks. We're right. trying to just focus on neighborhoods because yeah. we have an allotted hot dogs and hamburgers that we yeah. buy. Yeah. So if everybody comes, we run out real quick. So just so. wait. They'll be coming to a You're park near you. Yes, yeah. we're going to hit about every city park yeah. this, this summer. That's wonderful. So. And, of course, we'll see a lot of fun happening in the city, Alexandria City Park, with the water pads. Yep. Um, they're f just filled every they're day. They're always full. Yeah. That, that's neat. And that just shows the community wants that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm knowing the near future, we should be looking at other sp parks to have that. Um, you don't have to have lifeguards. So right. You don't have to man them. Yeah. But the kids can be there all day. Yeah, and all right. just have a wonderful time. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks so for much coming for by again. Us. Franco Hunter for Park us. tomorrow morning starting around 10 30. 10 ish. 10 30. Please 10 30. Okay, let's go to 10 30 then. <laughs> yeah, Please, I'm running it's like around. A, it's like a flea market. No, I it's like a garage I sale. Yeah, I, I track the people coming in. I literally yeah. write it down and I have to guesstimate what age they are. And, uh -huh. Not the adults. I, yeah. Just the kids. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's it. And then you have to add a few more because you know you miss everybody. Nine. These numbers are a lot more than what I expected. Isn't that right. wonderful? I Good think it's hear. such a great, great idea. Well, thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. More to come here on Good Day Sinlaw. Jason Hugay from the Steamboat Warehouse with us later in the show.